This is Pete Jones, and you are listening to the Dragons Are Real podcast. Episode 10, Dungeons & Dragons Basic by Frank Metzner. If you listen to my previous episodes, you will know that I'm chronologically moving through the Dungeons & Dragons line of role-playing games. In this post, I will not be explaining the mechanics of how to play Dungeons & Dragons that is assumed from previous episodes. This will discuss what is different between the Metzner edition and editions that preceded it. This edition was released two years after the Moldvay edition in 1983 and was written by Frank Metzner. The main rule book now has been split into two, a 64-page player's manual and a 48-page Dungeon Master's rulebook. Also released in this set were Expert, Companion, Master and Immortal books, which will be discussed in later episodes. This line was known as Beck Me, after the initials for the five books, or Red Box. This has been a complete reorganisation of the D&D rules from the previous Moldvay. This is a, the, shown in the opening chapter, Learning How to Play Dungeons and Dragons. It's completely reorganised into a tutorial form to help beginners learn to play the game. The downside is that it makes it harder to reference back later. Some of the text is exactly the same as the Moldvay edition, word for word. However, the layout, art and typefaces were all improved, making it a lot more pleasing on the eye. There's also a three-part solo adventure teaching you how to learn the game. Part one is they call Town Business, and that takes you on a shopping trip so you can buy your equipment and ready for your first adventure. Part two is Battles, and this is where you learn the mechanics to fight. And part three is called Into the Caves, and this is a dungeon exploration, and it leads you through how a dungeon exploration works. The separate Dungeon Master's rulebook holds the hand of a new DM. It gives advice and tips on how to run an adventure, and suggestions of what to do in different circumstances. What is really handy at the back of the GM book has an index which incorporates both books, the players and the Dungeon Master's rulebook. So what are the changes apart from the look at layout and the tutorial method? Well, first of all, they've dropped clerics getting their powers from their deities. and it, Instead, they've changed this, that the clerics get their powers from their beliefs. This is up to the players to decide what their beliefs are. The magic user spell book was also slightly changed, and now all magic users start with two spells, one of which is going to be read magic. As well as getting a new spell per level, you can copy new sp spells from scrolls into your spell book. One big uh, addition is they've added Detect Invisible description in this book, which was missing from the previous edition. Monsters-wise, they've added humans to the monster list, removing separate entries. So now we have Acolyte, Medium, Noble, which has moved to the Expert Rules, Trader, Veteran. Insect Swarm has, has been moved from the Basic Rules to the Expert Rules. There was also released two modules for the new Basic Edition, M1 Blizzard Past and M2 Maze of the Riddling Minotaur, and these were both solo modules. So what does Metzner's book add to the D&D rule books? Well, it's a better book for learning the game than any his previous versions of the rules. And it really holds the player's hands and GM's hands through the system. And I can see why it's uh, held in fond esteem by players who first played this game, because this is how they learnt the game. If you are new to Dungeons & Dragons and old school gaming, I would recommend this over Moldvay, as it really does teach you how to play the game. However, if you're an experienced player, I would revert back to Moldvay as it is better um, rule book for referencing for any uh, items you're not sure of. So that's uh, my review of the basic. Next will be expert. <laughs> You've been listening to the Dragons Are Real podcast. You can contact me by leaving a message via the Anchor app or visit the podcast website, petejones.neocity.org or on OSR Anchorites at the Audio Dungeon Discord. Thanks for listening. The opening music is Siesta by Jazar. The closing music is Controlled Distress by BizBuzz Studio.